Tikoil, a small village located in Chapainobabganj, also known as Alponagram. Now before you know how it named Alponagram, look at this. I have never seen this before in my entire life. Then I knew that these are used to pigeon breeding. And you can see this only here in Chapainobabganj. And this is Alponabari one of an ordinary but special house in this village. Basically, Alpuna is a Bengali folk art style that paint by colorful soils and rice flower. It is a very old culture that traditionally practiced by women. And she is one of them, Miss Dahon Bormon. She won this house. Now you are probably thinking, how did I go there? To know this, we have to start from the beginning. A couple weeks ago, I planned to go to Rashtrahi and explore the city. And I did that well. But there is some unexpected things comes very easily. When I was busy to make planning this trip more fun, God was planning another. His plan was the rain. And then rain ruined this trip. I can taking any drone shot for the rain. Now I decided to go Putia to see the raspberry. This is probably how I went there. Puthia Rajbari, an example of Indo Saracenic architecture. It was built in 1895 by Maharani Hemanta Kumari Devi. In the font of the Rajbari, there is a temple called Puthia Temple. It was the place of the worship of the land roads of those days. Uh, now I am on the way to Natur to visit Natur Raspberry. And I tried to do hitchhiking but Nator. no one helped me. Natur, Natur. Maybe my luck is bad for hitchhiking, you know. Staying right now in 20 minutes but there is no one giving me a lift to Natur. Then I had to make the easier deal, just ride on a bus. After half hour of riding bus and local vehicle, I reached Natur Rajbari. In 1710, it was built by Raja Ramjibon. It was the residence and seat of Raj Shahi Raj family and Zamidars. Now it's one of an archaeological artifacts in Bangladesh. It's like Puthia Rajbari. In the meantime, when I was exploring the area, I met these two little boys. They live here. They offered me their cycle for a ride. It was pretty fun. I spent some time with them and we shared many stories. Sorry, I forgot to talk about the Alpunagram. Let's start here. Rajshahi railway station, waiting for the train, driving the seat, refreshing ride, beautiful view, and then this three wheel van with a battery motor. This was the driver. He really helped me to find the Alpunabari. It looks like average Bengali houses there. The only difference is it has a lot of Alpuna on the walls. Not only walls, from the door to inside room. Even the stairs. Miss Dakhon Bormon is a housewife. She has two daughters and husband. Her husband is a farmer. She started doing Alpuna since when she was a little girl. 
she loved to do alpana she found her joy and happiness in this art after seeing that people named her house to alpana bari lot of people and traveler went her house to see the arts she created and her house became popular for the travelers then they named the whole village to alpana gram she also awarded many times for her creations i was pretty surprised that she has a registered book that show how people went there and write down their feelings for the house i wrote my own too this was the main story about going russia here and it was pretty fun i met a lot of new people saw new things and learned something really really new thanks for the watching and if you like the video subscribe and don't forget to comment and i will catch you in the next one